All right, right off the bat here, you're going to want to run and jump and hang on to that ledge. Just get over there without disturbing the birds so you can rescue that Madokan before that scrab takes it out. Because that scrab will kill it. So, anyway, sorry for that hasty introduction. Wanted to get that out of the way. But yeah, this is uh, Stockyards on Oddworld New and Tasty. This is Trout 2327 here. I'm going to show you how to rescue all the new Dockins. And also, if you do everything that I do or close to without dying or getting detected, you will also be one step closer to the Still Life Trophy. But uh, I would suggest trying to get that separate because it's just a whole lot easier. This first little secret area in the stockyards, you get through, it's just a lot of back and forth. You want to run, come down, pull this lever, make sure you get a good jump out in front of him. Just run all the way back. As soon as you get up on the platform, immediately start chanting. Just like hit it real quick to open up that portal. Tell all the new doctors to follow you. Again, get a good jump out in front of him. Work your way all the way back over here. Rescue those new dockers, and then head all the way back to that uh, blue portal you opened up. He's just a little bit faster than us, but we're just a little bit smarter than him. The scrap, that is. When you come out, you want to start heading back. Back to this door. And then this, there's a second scrab up here. If he is on the right side, like where he is there, you can just run and jump. Otherwise, wait until he's in that spot. Make it a little easier. Then you can just uh, sneak to these ledges. As soon as they start moving back, you can jump over. I use a sneak because it's easier to control his movements. That way you can stop whenever you need to. And as soon as you get through that one, you can just run straight through to this next little spot. I skip through that video there. And in this little area, when you run, jump over the mines. Ideally, that's what you want to do right there is barely miss the mine and catch that ledge. So you can just hop up and sneak through. And we don't have to worry about him coming back and seeing you. And as soon as that slug is facing to the right, you can jump. Just jump straight over into the smoke. If he is facing the smoke, then he will shoot you if you jump into it. So just be careful of that. And then come down here and chant. And there is a bird portal back down under there in the smoke. That leads to another little secret area. When you get here, just immediately head left and start chanting. And always yell, look out. That's your first priority. Anytime you uh, possess a slig with blue dockins in the area, even if you're trying to kill another slig, your first priority should always be look out to make the blue dockins uh, duck for cover, as uh, shown there. Then you can take out the slig. Which should get you a trophy for shooting over the head of a Mudokin. Crouch Mudokin. Then you'll head back out. Continue on your way. It'll put you up here on this ledge. Um, if you want to play it safe, drop down and jump over the mine. Or you can jump over it like that and immediately duck down. And if you uh, hold L1, you can hit circle at any time to either stand or crouch. It makes navigating a little bit faster. As you can see, you can just stand up and then when the bombs come, crouch. You can play it safe, try not to be detected, but if you are, like I said, it's easiest to get that trophy if you uh, do a separate playthrough or separate run on this stage. Always watch out for those bats, especially playing on hard. 
They can be very pesky and will kill you very easily sometimes. When you get down here, you want to wait till that's, to follow that slig. As soon as you get a little bit past the fire, you can just take a run for it and jump up to that ledge. You get over here in this corner and the uh, tent suppressor shouldn't affect you. So you can take the slig out and head into the next circuit little area. As soon as you get through here, you're going to want to immediately run to the right and roll into here. Wait for that slug to turn around. Jump over the mines. Do not jump when he's facing you. Even though you're in the smoke, he will see you and shoot you. Again, quick save often. That way you don't have to blow from checkpoint, come back and do all this. And head up when they're both not looking. Roll to this corner. Possess the bottom slug, take out those mines, and then you can possess that top slug, do some dirty work with him, take that slug out, and if you want you can you know, watch out like I did there before you even hop down and uh, shoot those guys. Like I said, first priority should always be telling the Mudokans to look out so if you happen to die. Or happen, yeah, happen to die as the slig, then it's no big deal. You could just possess the other one like that rather than losing a Mudokan and have to load up a save. And then, if you want, you can uh, chant before you leave that little area to open that portal. But as you see, if you chant just long enough, even with the chant suppressor, to uh, open the portal if you forgot to do it when you were safe and secluded. And then come out here, this part's real tricky. Just always remember to crouch whenever you're sitting still so you don't get hit by them bombs. And here you can just jump right over as soon as the uh, detector goes by. And this part down here with this slig, just drop down, activate this uh, mine, but be careful because if it explodes while he is, while that uh, detector's close, it will set the alarm off. So you kind of like move a little bit to get his attention until the uh, detector's a little ways away, then you can let him walk into it and explode him, and the detectors won't go off, and you still will not have sounded in alarm which will take you down into this little area after you do that into another secret spot with uh, three more Mugakin wait till that slick turns around and gets about off screen then just make a run jump for it run into the smoke and uh, if you're lucky he won't even shoot at you um, yeah sometimes you can just run jump into it without him even shooting at you but then come down here and rescue oh, yeah. these three new dragons. As you see there, anytime you need to manipulate the camera a little bit, you can use your uh, bottle cap throw, the right analog stick, to uh, adjust like which way you need the camera to go just a tiny bit. Uh, I'll show you coming up in my other vids where that comes in handy in a couple more different areas. Once you rescue those, wait for that. Come up here and wait for that slig to get into uh, chant range, then take him over, kill the other slug, get them both out of your way. Also, there's a banner for new and tasty there, you should get a uh, trophy for that, for discovering some advertisement for new and tasty. Then you can head out back on your way, hopefully continuing to not get spotted. Or die. Make your way back up. Just the key with, with not getting detected is just patience. And again, those bats don't just go running like crazy because they'll fly out and hit you and potentially kill you. It's happened to me. 
you want to come down and grab some rocks, jump back up, head over to this area, destroy those mines. Also, if you bounce it off the wall like that into the mine, you will get uh, the trophy for that, which is uh, destroy a mine with a rock that's bounced off a wall. But uh, anyway, after you do that, head into this portal, teleportal. And this area can be real tricky, but I found a nice little uh, easy way to do it. It's much easier than the original way that I have noticed it's probably supposed to be done. But just wait for that slig to come over, stay in the smoke. As soon as he gets past you, you can head towards the other way. Just jump down and hang on that ledge and just sit there for a while. Now normally you would go up top and activate the, or tell those Mudakas to follow you into that smoke on top and then uh, activate the green thing and the guy on top dies from walking into that. But this way, just hang on the ledge, wait till they both walk this way. As soon as the bottom one turns, hop up and you can sneak all the way to the wall and chant and the detector will not catch you. And then when you first possess him, he uh, will make the other slig stop. Because he says, uh, what up bro? Or hi or whatever he says when you first possess him. Which is just enough time for you to uh, hop down with the slig, turn and shoot him. So that he doesn't shoot at you. Then you can rescue these new documents fairly easily. And all I gotta worry about is just not being seen by this motion detector. If you are, another slig will drop down in that little corner where we were hiding so yeah we're getting there uh, there's a uh, by the time you get done with the stockyards you should have rescued the 111 new dockins. There's 41 Mudokans here in the stockyards. And when you get out, make sure you have some rocks. Roll under here, take out that one. And then you can get into the smoke. You can maybe make it to the middle one, middle smoke, if you time it right. But you don't need to. Just take it easy. And once you get past them, jump up here. Those bats, just don't worry about them. Then, uh, as long as you get down fairly quickly. When you get in here, you can either toss a rock and destroy those mines, or hop down like that and jump over them. That way, the slog runs into them, so you have a little better angle on this uh, mine. Just stand at that glowing patch and just angle it a little bit, like you've seen, and you should uh, take it right out. You'll be able to head into this portal, and to be safe. Just run. Sh Sometimes you can run straight ahead and jump up to that ledge, but uh, sometimes he will kill you for some for whatever reason. And if you wait until he is jumping in the air to jump towards the uh, lever, it will take him a second. So it will give you enough time to pull the lever and then also make it to safety. And also, if he is too close to the birds, as you see here, they will not come back. So I had to waste a trip back to the left. And also, right there, as you can see again, I used the right analog stick to manipulate the camera to get the birds just in view so that I could uh, rescue the dockings without having to worry about jumping on that ledge and the slog being too close and the birds not coming back. So then you can head out continue on our quest to save all the Mudokans. When you get up here, there, jump over that mine, there's a little slog. Just get his attention, run back, just let him run right into it, take it out. And then down here, there's a sleeping slog, but we won't worry about him right now. We'll come down to this little area, and hop into another teleporter, and rescue some more Mudokans.
this one's really easy. All you gotta do is just get those uh, slogs attention. Just run straight across. Jump up, head into the background. Run straight over, pull the lever to start the uh, electrocution. You can go ahead and chant to open up the portal in the back. But the slogs will uh, get electrocuted. Then you can pull the lever again to stop uh, the electricity. And then rescue these Mudakins. And as you can see on the board, that is 111. So that is all the Mudakins that we need to rescue here in the stockyards. So if it says 111 when you reach this point, you're doing good. Well on your way to saving them all. Now all you gotta do is take out a few more slogs and you're home free for the stockyards. Hopefully my video helped you out. Like I said, I'm uh, gonna do some more. Show you eventually how to rescue all 299 on hard on all the chapters. So once you uh, take these things out, just jump up there, run and jump, and you're home free. So hope that can help you out. See you next time.